With the 10 largest African exporters in the textiles and apparel industry, representing a mere 0.5% of the world textile production, players say the industry, still in its infancy, is beginning to expand, largely because of a growing interest in Africa's culture, and Ugandans can now capitalize on the same. Fashion is not just the fashion designers that you see on the, and the models that you see on the catwalk. The production department, per se, of fashion is huge and much more comprehensive and than what meets the eye. We have tailors, we have seamstresses, we have cutters. The opportunities for, for absorbing our youth are huge if fashion is actually taken seriously and structures are set in place to ensure that, you know, it is exploited as what it should be. However, what we see right now is individuals struggling on their own to make ends meet, employ a tailor to. Interventions like the African Growth and Opportunity Act, which allows over 8,000 products, among them textiles, to be exported to the U.S. duty-free, remain far below utilization. Agoa, like I said, the sector is not very well uh, set up. There is no strategy as yet for the fashion industry and uh, textiles and, uh, and garment, and that is in the offing. Um, and so for us to sign on any U.S. Um, uh, buyers, we must ensure that the needed numbers are actually produced and met on deadline. And because our workshops are still in development phases. We have not yet gotten the capacity to, to produce the thousands of, 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 of pieces needed. It is said that demand for local fashion is likely to be boosted further by a growing urban middle class, and that like banking, agriculture, or even the oil and gas sectors, the industry could return billions of shillings if it is well structured. This was during the announcement of this year's Uganda International Fashion Week, scheduled for 2nd to 4th of August, 2019. Eronika Mkama, NTV Business.